it doesn't really matter which color you start with. It just I make um, little round puddles, and then I squirt. You could kind of call them eyeballs, or whatever. You just keep adding more color. Maybe I'll do a little red. Oh, this is a new bottle. Shoot. Does anyone have any scissors I can trim this with? Um, like a pocket I knife? I think we have a black knife. Um. I forget that these bottles come sealed, which is kind of annoying. I'll just pour it just to, in the interest of time, I'll just pour it straight out of the bottle, like so. It's a little messier, but okay. So this alone can be really beautiful, and, and a number of artists have just used this itself as a technique. Um, but if you want to do the marbleizing, I'll show you the next step for marbleizing. Let's add another color into the mix for a very dramatic marbling effect. Okay, so I've made all these little eyeballs, I'm going to call them. And then I just take a sharp tool and I drag through like so. You can make the lines as close or as far as you like. So this is just the pouring medium with color mixed in. And you can also get a little fancy and do sort of things like that. You can cross over if you want. So some people might like it just like that. If you want to increase the intricacy of the pattern, you can Cross. Now that was a grid pattern, but there's no reason you have to have straight lines. You can curve the lines. And the more colors, you know, the more intricate it will be too. And there you go. There's some easy technique for marbleizing with acrylics. So you want to leave this completely undisturbed, very level surface until it's dry. Because if this tilts even the slightest bit, your whole design is going to migrate and spread out. So if you want to keep this to 